Hello my friends and good morning and welcome to the Trexler Nature Preserve here in Lehigh County, Pennsylvania. It's a 1,100 acre park uh, that has a diverse amount of terrain, uh, all kinds of different stuff. It's got great reviews and we're going to explore some of the trails today. There's miles of trails and different habitats, but uh, we're going to see if we can get a little bit of a taste of what this park is about. Of course, I'll be telling you more about it as we go, but it's over 1,100 acres of property, and uh, let's go see what we see. Let's go hit that trail. Gator out. This park is divided into uh, like three distinct areas known as the North Range, the Central Range, and the South Range. And we are in the North Range, and unbeknownst to me, uh, this is a prescribed burn uh, fire area. So they do controlled burns of this area, I guess, to keep the, the landscape open. And that's why it has a little bit of a like desolate look to it. Today is uh, Memorial Day, Monday. And uh, I'm not sure how crowded this place is gonna get or not get. I imagine it's pretty popular and gets pretty busy. It was quite a lovely ride getting to the parking area. Um, some of the roads were very like dirt roads and a little bit rutted. It was a little bit more than what I had expected. But uh, it's about seven o'clock in the morning and uh, it's a nice cool morning. And looking forward to a nice walk today. So thanks for coming along. The trail we are on right now is called the Border Trail. And this Border Trail goes for 9.1 miles around the whole park. And we're not gonna be doing that whole nine miles today. We're gonna be getting off on some side trails, but I really like the terrain here. It's hilly. It's not mountainous, it's hilly, but it's open. It's very interesting. Now, one of the interesting things about Trexler here is that the uh, Lehigh Valley Zoo is located within the park here. And there is also a like free roaming buffalo herd, supposedly, and a free roaming um, elk herd that if we're fortunate enough, maybe we'll be able to get to see them. All right, guys, well, it's just turning out to be a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And as we're looking over here to the right, uh, I see some fencing and it looks like these are the pens, I guess you would say, uh, where these uh, supposed buffalo and elk herds are kept. So let's keep our eyes open, see if we can spot anything. The buffalo, we can actually see them. They're up on the hillside there. Uh, unfortunately, they're kind of far away and the camera's not really gonna pick it up. 
the one downfall of the GoPro. It just doesn't do a good job zooming in at all. I'm really loving this trail. The scenery keeps changing and uh, it's such a nice, turning into such a nice, beautiful morning. Looks like we're coming to a main parking area and perhaps the highest elevation in the park. There's an observation deck ahead. Let's go check that out. What a, uh, what a beautiful location that was up at the uh, lookout area. I can imagine it's gorgeous at sunset. And um, we're gonna start making our way down towards Jordan Creek, I think. Uh, I'm having such a relaxing hike here. I'm not even really concerned about where I'm going. It's a beautiful day. But uh, I'm a little, at a little bit of a fork in the road here. Should we go left or right? Uh, let's try right. Well, my friends, I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this place. Sometimes you don't know what you're gonna get when you go somewhere you've never been before, but this is like a little gem here. It's not that crowded, open landscapes and it's it's just beautiful blessing to be alive today What do you think that was? Interesting looking built. You know, you know what? I think I know what it is. I'll bet you. I bet you that was an old bird blind. That's what I think that was. At first I was thinking it was a, a footbridge, but there's no creek there. Now I think it was a bird blind. Interesting to come across something like that unexpectedly.
All right, so we're now walking along side of uh, Jordan Creek and uh, we're on a paved road for a short distance here and this is probably like one of the main central attractions. You've seen the, uh, the Ford they call it where people can drive right across the uh, creek and the bridge and it's just man this place talk about exceeding expectations I mean I can't say enough good things about this place Alrighty, so we are now pulling away from Jordan Creek, heading back up the hillside and starting to make our way back towards our original starting point in that North Range section of the park. Okay, so we made it up that steep trail from the creek I'm still catching my breath but now the landscape is looking like it did when we first started this kind of like savanna you really get some very beautiful very expansive uh, views from this trail it's awesome We made it back to the parking area, which is just up ahead. Beautiful walk on Memorial Day. Uh, today is a very special day. And uh, say a prayer and give thanks for those that paid the ultimate sacrifice, gave their lives for us to have freedom and to live in this amazing country. Um, thanks for coming along on another adventure, guys. Trexler Preserve here. It was really, really interesting place. I enjoyed it a lot. Very unique landscape. And um, that's about it. So until next time, I'll see you on the trail. Gator out.